A massive pileup on I-15 in July claimed eight lives, including four children. You remember the dust storm in the Millard County area. 22 vehicles, including semi-trucks, were involved and at least 10 people were injured. It was a tragedy. Fox 13's Brian Schnee was in Fillmore tonight, right at the Utah Territorial State House, for a special ceremony to honor those who responded to the gruesome scene. It's been more than a month since nearly two dozen vehicles were involved in a pileup on I-15 in Millard County, an auto accident that took the lives of eight people. The ceremony held outside of the Utah Territorial State House in Fillmore Tuesday night honored and recognized first responders who answered the call that day. It's one of the worst auto-related accidents in Utah history. July 25th, between Kanash and Meadow on I-15, a sandstorm created hazardous driving conditions and prompted a massive pileup of vehicles. First responders on scene were praised for their heroic efforts amid the chaos that day. And July 25th proved that very test. We're as good as anywhere. I am so honored to be considered among you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. 103 first responders from tow truck companies to dispatchers to firefighters, deputies, were all honored for their courage, composure, and professionalism. Kim Rowell responded as an EMT on the second ambulance out from Millard County. Just how much we're grateful for the people that volunteer and take time out of their day from their jobs, their families, to come and come help other people in need. The details of the day are still vivid. It was just lots of trauma, lots of death, lots of um, people everywhere, and I don't know, it's kind of hard to talk about because just a lot of emotions tied into it. Emotional after hearing the stories from those on scene that day, Governor Spencer Cox called the group of first responders heroes for not just the work they did on that very grim day, but each day since. I pray that we will never need you again, and I know that we will. Five minutes from now, somewhere in this state, someone wearing your badge or your uniform or your calling will be called upon and, uh, and you'll respond. Five of the eight people that lost their lives in that accident back in late July all belonged to one family. I spoke briefly with Mason Sawyer who lost his wife, his two children, his nephew and his own brother in that crash. He told me he's still very thankful for all the first responders that were called into action that day. In Fillmore, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah. As Brian just mentioned, the Sawyer family mourned many lives due to this crash. 30-year-old Courtney Sawyer from St. George, her children, six-year-old Riggin Sawyer and two-year-old Frankie Sawyer, her brother-in-law, 37-year-old Ray Sawyer from Lehigh, and his son, 12-year-old Ryder Sawyer. 51-year-old Robert Lorenzon, driver, and 47-year-old Marcella Lorenzon from Salt Lake City were in another vehicle. They both died. And the eighth person killed was a passenger in another vehicle, 15-year-old Cameron Valentine from Yuma, Arizona.